Now next is the toggle button. The toggle button is over here. This is like a maintain button. So you can take a toggle button over here. This shows toggle and if you see here you have its label here and background color its name. So you can label that to start. This will show you start here. And I can give this address of the same bit like that. Okay, this is this is the uh, name with tag one. So when you press it, nothing will happen. Now when you press it and release, you can see that this bit is on. When you press it again, this bit will off. Okay, this has a toggle button. So when you press it, it will be showing with a you know faded color because toggle means which maintain the state. When you release it, it will come out. So this is a toggle button. Now Another thing is, if you want to have some interactive display, you can have a two-state toggle, like that, which is having a by default off state as uh, it's off is written because this button is off, and it will be if if it is an on state, it will be a green. So when you double-click this button, you'll find its properties here. So this is zero state; it's written as off. In one state, it is written as on. You can also change its color. You can change its text. Like it is written here, you can change the text. Okay, so if I give the same tag to this button as well, now see its 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 appearance. Right now it's off because this bit is off. When I click it once, this bit is on and this uh, button is named as on. So this is more having visual appearance than this button. This was toggle. This is two state toggle as predefined here. So when I click it again. It will be off. This bit will be off. So these both are working simultaneously because these both are tagged with the same address. Okay. These are the inputs. Again, it is on, and this goes off. So this was the toggle button. I took it from here. A toggle button or two-state toggle button. All right. I hope this makes sense. Thank you.